Oh, Canada. Canada. Hello, everyone. I'm Daryl Todds. And I'm Chad LaPelle. And this is Canadian, Canadian Fun, Fun Facts. Facts. Okay, this is Facts All About Canada, our country, and it's done our way. So I'm just going to start you off with a fun fact. How about that? Here we go. All right. Fact number one. Canada has the world's largest coastline covering a distance of 125,576 miles. You know, the coastline extends over the Arctic, Atlantic, and Pacific Ocean. I didn't know that. Did you know that, man? It sounds like a lot of oceans, bro. Wow, that's that's a lot of oceans. That's got to be at least three. Half of them. Half, yeah, that's mm. half the oceans in the world, man. Whoa. That's unreal. That's a cool fact. Let's hear oh. another fact. So Canada is the number one donut consumer in the world. We eat approximately one billion donuts a year. Man, I thought that was me, man. And that's just Daryl. I gotta be at least 50% of that number. I'm telling you. I eat like, <laughs> especially the ones with the little sprinkles that you buy. Love them. I get like a baker's dozen. Yes. That's gotta be like 25 donuts, oh, man. Talk about a good oh, Friday night. I love that. Okay. Why don't, we, why don't we get another fact in here? Okay, here's a fact for you, and it's pretty fun, I think. I can't wait. We have the largest freshwater island in the world. Which island? Uh, that island would be Manitoulin Island. Manitoulin, if everyone knows where that is, it's, it's by those other islands. Outside are, of Manitou. Outside of Manitou. Makes sense. Lynn. All right, what's so, next, guys? Let's hear another one. One tenth of the world's forests are in Canada. Well, that what? makes sense. I step out of my door and I'm, I'm literally looking into a forest. Well, you look like it. Well, outdoorsman. I bought a new ATV eh? and it has oh. like one of those like triple wheels on each side. <laughs> so when I'm going, me and my, my cousin B B Billy there, he, uh, he gets on the back there and we just, we go ripping though, you right ripping. out of our front door, oh. like right out of the garage, ripping, man, we're man. just ripping through the forest. Ripping. Just saying, I'm just saying, it's a great, it's a great country for that, man. Ripping. All right, let's ripping. hear another fact there. Let's hear it. Oh, and you know, in 2012, the great Canadian maple syrup heist was national news, bro. And when someone stole 3000 tons of maple syrup in Quebec, it was valued at $18 million. Holy cow, buddy. I know. It sounds funny, but it's actually big business, bro. Maple syrup is big business. I don't know if you knew that. It's big business. But Canada produces 80% of the world's maple syrup. I mean, you can see the, the, the Canadian flag on every bottle, man. I have so many in my cupboard right now. Some I tap myself. Like, I just... just <laughs> right in there the and just pour it right up. I just pour it right from the, t it's so good. That's a sight I'd love to see. It's, it's good for calming down babies too, I heard, that you could just pour them a glass of warm maple syrup and they're just, it's like putting on the vacuum for a kid, eh? Oh, it's probably they just a good go thing. right to bed. Probably maybe you try that at kids. home. Uh, can I recommend, maybe not, maybe not do that. Maybe just stick with a little bit of thimble, thimble full of thimble. maple syrup. Makes sense. Them. All right, let's go on to the next one here. All right, Canadians have invented created many incredible things, including basketball, Superman, the telephone, IMAX, insulin, and one of your favorites in the winter, the snowblower. That's gotta be my favorite thing, Canadian. That's why I moved here in the first place. Well, actually I was born here, so that's not really true, <laughs> but I would have moved here just for the snowblower itself. Well, there you go. Oh yeah, man. That's a Canadian fun yeah. fact right there. Oh, me and my cousin, as I said, we got that ATV and we rip it around right out of our garage. But if there was snow there, man, I think we'd probably get a little bit stuck. Yeah, so it's good that I have my Canadian snowblower. So that's great. Okay, question number seven. Not question, sorry, this is a fun fact. It's fun facts, fact number seven. Well, it's a question for me because I'm going to ask you the question, which is really a fact and you have to, it's like Jeopardy, man. Okay, here we go. So Canada's lowest recorded temperature was minus 81.4 degrees in 1947. 
I don't even know if they had jackets then, man. How would you even like tolerate that? That's cold. I'd cuddle up to maybe a horse in like a carriage or something, or a moose. A moose. I hear moose are pretty warm around that time of year anyway, moose. <laughs> which is winter. So that's why, like, yeah, if you can if you can cuddle up next to a moose and you're you know stranded in the middle of the, living uh, the dream, the Canadian winter. Yeah, you're living a dream too. I mean, I would definitely take a selfie stick and get that on TikTok, man. <laughs> oh, with a moose, that'd be amazing. Okay, anyway, let's go to the next fun fact. All right, Young Street is 1,896 kilometers long. Boy, that's long, man. That's a long street. How many McDonald's on the right do you think there is on the left there? You 24. know, they're probably. 24, 24 over 1,896 kilometers? That's my guess. I think that's a little short, man. I need a coffee like every 20 minutes on the road, bro. Especially if it's like Tim Hortons. I am all over that. Other <laughs> dark roasts, man, since they introduced that, every time I go up to the drive through they say, hey, you want a dark roast? I was like, you know me. <laughs> you know? It's so, it's so true though, bro. Okay, let's keep going. That's a lot of words. Good luck. Oh, I have to read this one? Go for it. Okay, well, here's another fun fact. More like a fun paragraph, but let's try it anyway. A black bear cub from Canada named Winnipeg, or Winnie for short, not like you know where this is going, was one of the most popular attractions at the London Zoo after it was donated to the zoo in 1915. Winnie became a favorite of Christopher Robin Milne and inspired the stories written by his father, A. A. Milne, about Winnie the Pooh. The Pooh Bear's a Canadian! Hey! I didn't know that, man! I wonder if Tigger's like his cousin from Canada, like from the East Coast or something. <laughs> probably from the East Coast. He's probably right? over from the East Coast, probably from man. Because East Coast, right? he's always bouncing around there. Like, I think I saw him down by the docks. He was catching some, like, good cod, man. Good cod. <laughs> On Cape Breton. I think Tigger is definitely a cod hunter. I think oh, he's, he's there you go. definitely. You heard it from Daryl, folks. Oh man, yeah, I love that guy. I'll, okay. I'll take this one. Okay. Uh, the CN Tower in Toronto was uh, the world's tallest freestanding structure until it was eclipsed in 2007. Fun fact by, I believe, the Burj Khalif in uh, Dubai, if I'm not mistaken. How did you know that? Well, that is amazing, man. Fun fact. That just blew that just blew my mind and the tower at the same time. I don't know how the moon eclipsed over in 2007, man, but that's crazy. Crazy. I'm sorry I missed it. Whoa. That's unreal, man. Wow. <laughs> that's awesome. Well, let's go to another fun fact cuz this is going to be fun. So, the large parts of Canada have less gravity than the rest of the world. Whoa. That just blew my mind, too. That is unreal. That's, Did you know that? I didn't know that, Daryl. I wonder if it's like the magnetic plates of the Canadian Shield or something. Well, look at you being all smart. Yeah. Yeah, man. Well, you got to know about the country you live in, bro. Come on. All right, question number 12. In 1967, the Eiffel Tower was almost temporarily relocated to Canada. Uh, that's one big crane lift, man. I don't know about that one. I don't know how they get the cranes over the ocean. Yeah. That's a hard one too. You can't really fly it though. You need a two planes or three planes, like kind of flying together for that. That's gonna be weird. That's uh, that's a hard feat. Well, there you go. I'll take a lot of manpower, man. Okay, question number thirteen. Sorry, not a, it's not a question. I don't know why. It's I not a question. question. Daryl. Well, let's go for the fun fact here, are we? Oh, Canada, originally named Chant National, was written by Adolf Basile Ruthier, French lyrics, and. Calixe Laval music and first performed in Quebec City in 1880. The song was approved by the Parliament of Canada in 1967 as the unofficial national anthem and adopted officially on July 1st, 1980. I really hope I pronounced those names right, but that is absolutely amazing. You did great. 100%. All right, let's go right. to the next one. All right, uh, 14, 14th fact. It's populate, population density is 8.6 people per square mile, making Canada the ninth most sparsely populated nation in the world. Try telling that to people on the 401, eh? Holy oh, cow. No kidding, bro. I stay in the forest, but that's for not. I'm glad I need my space, you know right? what I'm saying? All right, let's oh, go to the yeah. next one here. 50. So as much as Canadians love hockey, it's actually not the national sport. I'm sorry to say and happy to say, Lacrosse is our nation's first game. 
Did you, you know go. that, everyone? I thought it was hockey at first, man, because I really love hockey, but lacrosse is absolutely fun to play. So I'm not, I'm not ashamed of that at all. It's a hard sport, and I, I really appreciate it, man. And to all the lacrosse players. Absolutely. Right? Absolutely. Okay, let's go to another fun fact here. All right. Uh, Hawaiian pizza was actually invented by an Ontario man, not by the Hawaiians. What? Well, good on him, because I don't know about you, but man, I, I like pineapple I pizza. love it. There's that great debate. All the naysayers, I love it. Yeah. Well, I, you know what? I think that we've had a lot of fun with these fun facts. I'm learning Let's a lot. Let's do one more. How about Kingston was originally the capital of Canada between 1841 and 1843? Oh, there you go, Did buddy. you know that? I didn't know I that. I wonder what changed, man. I do now. Uh, probably the probably, probably the buildings, I think, man. They did a lot of good construction there in Ottawa, and they're like, you know what? Let's get this the capital because it's cool. Oh, well, there you Absolutely. go. Absolutely. You go All on. All right. Uh, the name Canada derives from an Iroquoian word for village, Canada, that French explorers heard used to refer to the area near present-day Quebec City. Well, I Another can, fun fact for you. I cannot believe it. That's, <laughs> that's a good one, eh, That's man? a good that's fact. Awesome. How about this one? The Citizenship and Immigration Minister declared the Santa Claus is Canadian. Well, there you go. Well, he should be. He's dressed all in red and white. He is totally Canadian guy, man. I'd hang out with him. <laughs> and the last one here. Why don't, you, why don't you finish it off with the fun facts? All right. This is, I think you want one of these too. The Skidoo was invented in Quebec. Another fun fact for you. Oh, man. Yeah, it was. Okay. Well, that's all the time we have for today. I hope you enjoyed your fun facts. I'm Daryl. I'm Chad. And that's Canadian the Canadian Fun, fun Facts. facts.